um, Louisiana has figured the prison thing out, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. See, when you isolate people and, and put them in a certain group, you almost kind of validate their gang. See, uh, Louisiana don't do that. I'm about to stick all y'all in this dome. And guess what? You're going to have to get along with each other. All y'all killers. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. And what's the feeling? You, and you, get feel, over that in five you, minutes. you seem to be a very humble and laid back type of person. But I know that, you know, I've heard a lot of stories from people who've been in prison. Mm -hmm. and I know there's a lot of violence and gangs of violence. and all of that. Yeah. How were you able to survive during all of that and not being able to? Were you involved in any of those? Because from what I hear, when you go, it's almost like you have to check in, you have to almost pick a side. All of that sort of things. Did that affect you when you went to prison? No. And how come? Um, prison is a weird place. Um, yeah, that is a true statement. America, prison <laughs> is a weird place. All right, so you have different uh, prisons all over the country. And right. in Louisiana, we don't really, gangs aren't really big in Louisiana oh, prisons. Okay. Um, Louisiana has figured the prison thing out, if you ask me. See, when you isolate people and, and put them in a certain group, you almost kind of validate their gang. See, uh, Louisiana don't do that. I'm about to stick all y'all in this dome. And guess what? You're going to have to get along with each other. All y'all killers. So guess what? There is a unspoken code of respect because everybody knows the potential danger of the next man. Okay, it makes it makes a lot of sense. We're in an open dome, no cells. 50 man tank or? 120 man oh. warehouse with just beds in it. Mm. So you're not about to blah, 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 blah. And go to your cell. And go, and to, go sleep. to sleep. Mm -hmm. Because ain't no walls to separate us. Is. Wow. You threaten someone, tell them you're gonna do them this, that, you and the other. You can't close your eyes. And then you wake up in the middle of the night and he's standing over your bed. Right. So it was like a, that's why I say Louisiana, this prison thing. They got to figure it out. They figured it out. So you had, some guys don't care. You know, you had violence. But if you mind your business and you did the right things in prison, I learned early on that you were able, I was able to evade much of the foolishness. Because this foolishness in prison centered around three things. Gambling. Drugs. I'm going to try to say this in the most political way. <laughs> he tried to find he, it right. He failed me. Yeah, um, I know exactly what it is. The other thing. I was just saying that. <laughs> That's yeah. what, the, yeah. The other okay. thing. So yeah. those three things are what most of the violence centers around in prison yeah and if you are not involved in one of those three things it's a good chance that your prison stay will be as um bearable okay. as possible that's what because i don't want to say smooth i don't want to say smooth. good because nothing is good about you can prison. run into nothing any smooth, situation and you can run into any situation you'll have your bumps in the road but if you can avoid those things, it'll be bearable. He pretty much said, mind your business. Mm. Yeah. And, Simply say it. And, and, and that's basically <laughs> it. That's mind all your it business. Is. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.